Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to create a layer in ArcMath. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a layer in ArcMath. Now there's a few things we need to do before we get started on the computer. I need you to decide three things. First thing is, what's going to be in your layer? What real world feature are you going to be representing? Second thing is, is that feature going to be a point, a line, or a polygon? Now a point might be something like crashes, a line might be roads, and a polygon could be parking lots. You can also represent other things like population of an area or temperature. Now the third thing, and probably the hardest, is to decide what are the fields that are going to be associated with this layer. And fields are simply more attributes that describe the feature. So for example, I'm going to be creating a layer for parking lots. So some things that might be associated with parking lots are the name of the lot, how many spots are in that lot, what kind of pass is required to park there, and whether or not the spots are angled or if they're straight. So once you have those three things decided, we can get started on the computer. All right guys, let's get started actually creating that layer. Like I said in my example, I'm gonna be creating a layer for parking lots. You'll see on my screen, I am at the University of Northern Iowa on a section of campus just to get some frame of reference. So you need to actually create the layer in Art Catalog. However, you can access Art Catalog through Art Map. So on the screen here, go up to your toolbar and click the Art Catalog icon where my cursor is. When you do that, it's gonna pop up on the edge of your screen here. And this is where we're gonna do all of our work. So go to wherever your location is, right click, go down to New, and go down to Shape File. All right, so this is going to be the dialogue that takes you through all the steps of creating your layer. Name it something meaningful. meaningful. So I'll name mine parking lots. And like I said earlier, the feature type, you can choose point, line, or polygon. Uh, we won't use multi-point or multi-patch too much. Um, so polygon, like I said, it's an area, so that's why I'm choosing it. You need to set the spatial reference. This is extremely important. All your data needs to be in the same spatial reference. So in this example, I don't have any data loaded in yet, so I'm going to match it to what my base map is. If you don't remember how to do that, check out my last video on how to add a base map, and it'll show you how to check the spatial reference. However, I remember what mine is, so I'm going to actually search for it. Go to whatever's uh, the area you're working in, whatever's the best projection, and click OK. So now I've set my spatial reference. Perfect. Click OK to move to the next step. So it's created this layer, and this is important here. It's on my map, you can see over here where my cursor is, but there's no data in it. Even if we open the attribute table, I don't have any fields in it. The FID, the shape, and the ID are automatically generated by ArcMap. So I need to add some fields. So close out of that attribute table and go to your parking lots.shb either here or over here. Go to properties and go to the fields tab. Now this is where you're gonna add your fields. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna have the name of the parking lot. Text mean that it's just string, so it's just letters. If you're writing a name or an address or the name of a parking lot. The next thing I'm gonna do is the pass required. That's also gonna be text in this case, but maybe in another case it's one, two, three, four, or something like that. I'm also gonna do angle. So remember this is the spots. So this is gonna be a yes or a no. So I'm gonna do text as well. And then I'm gonna do the spot. So how many spots are in that parking lot? And I'll choose short integer for this. So now I have my fields and my data types and I'm done with that. So I'm gonna click okay. Great. Now I'm gonna go back and open this attribute table again. And you'll see my new fields have been added in here. Notice name is really long, pass is really long. That's because the default is 50 characters. So it's setting it to be 50 characters long. But you see I have all my fields here, my name, what pass you need, if it's angle, and the spots. So now you can start adding data to that. Do whatever you like with it, but that's how you create a layer. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, that is how you create a layer in ArcMap. If you have any remaining questions, drop them in the comments. Ask them to me on Twitter, at Peterson. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon.